Hi, this is Peter of GizGuy.com and today we have an interesting device. From the outside, it is just a regular smartphone. But trust me, it's not. This is one of the very first rollable smartphone prototypes in the world, Meet Oppo X 2021. To recall, Oppo showed its first foldable smartphone prototype in 2019. But unlike a few of its competitors, the company didn't mass produce it. Probably the reason behind that is they have a technology that is even better than that is this device. We won't be talking about its specs since this is clearly a smartphone prototype and nothing is final about it yet. But here's what we know. Anyway, for more content like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. At first look, it is a regular looking smartphone that is slightly thicker. At the back, it uses a two-tone glossy design with a silver on the left and a dominant white on right. What's striking here is the camera has no hump unlike most smartphones with bigger sensors. It's just a bit heavy at 263 grams. In front, this is where the magic happens. It uses a 6.7-inch flexible OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate and a crisp QHD Plus resolution. On tablet mode, the display will grow as large as 7.4-inch big. Yes, it can extend its display to 7.4-inch big like foldable smartphones. But as you saw, this is different. Foldable smartphones are cool but they are flawed. This solution aims to solve the thickness problem of older foldable smartphones. It still has a bit of a crease but it is lesser than the usual current foldable smartphones of today. It is not that bothersome. Trust me. Here, as you can see, this looks better than what Samsung did with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G. And when you switch back to the regular smartphone mode, the slight crease will be gone. Bezels are also slim, but there is a slightly thicker bezel on the right. On left, it has a 3D curved design. Oppo made this technology possible by using three proprietary technologies including the roll motor powertrain, 2-in-1 plate, and a self-developed warp track high-strength screen laminate. Oppo said that the roll motor powertrain uses two drive motors built into the handset used to retract or extend a screen. The company added that as the display moves, stress is equally distributed and even a sudden pull or push won't damage the screen. It also has a hole bearing with a slider on the side of the phone which allows the slider to follow a smooth arc. At 6.8mm diameter from the central axis, the display bends almost without a trace. Then, the 2-in-1 plate supports the screen with no segment gaps. For protection, it has a new dynamic frame that consists of a fixed frame and a sliding frame. It also uses a self-developed warp track high-strength screen laminate to make the rollable display resilient when it bends. By the way, the laminate is just 0.1mm thick. To unroll or retract the device, all you need to do is swipe up or down on the side button. You can also double-click it. Switching from smartphone mode to tablet mode will require about 5 seconds of time. In general, we are surprised that it works seamlessly and will adjust to the app you are using accordingly. Basically, the reason why Oppo did this is to provide its users the option to enjoy a regular smartphone screen and a bigger display in one device when needed. The bigger display allowed us to read articles and enjoy images on a larger screen. Some apps will also support the split screen for better multitasking. Of course, watching video clips on a larger display is also always better. Oh, by the way, the speakers that it uses are crisp, full sounding and really loud. This sounds better than a lot of modern smartphones today. For cameras, it is using a large 48 megapixel F1.7 primary shooter. It is also paired with 2x spot TOF 3D cameras to achieve superior bokeh and support basic coverage of AR for AR and VR features in the future. But again, we can't really speak much about its quality since this is a prototype. It is not fully developed yet. Oppo will likely further improve this once they make the device available in the market. A few weak points that we can see so far are the lack of a front camera and the half since this is big. Weirdly, there is no volume rocker as well. Oppo might have a problem with some apps as well. As of the moment, 
Just when we thought that smartphone designs are getting boring and repetitive, Oppo was able to come up with something refreshing. We just hope that they fix a few of the weak points we mentioned and make the experience more refined. But overall, this is a nice glimpse of what we can expect in the future. Oppo hasn't shared yet when will they make a device like this available to the public. But very exciting, right? Again, this is Peter of GizGuy.com and this is the very first rollable smartphone prototype in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe always. Goodbye!